In this video, we will look at two examples of factoring a trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, the leading coefficient, is not one, and the only common factor among all three terms is one. For the first example, we have five n squared plus 14 n plus eight. Again, remember, the first step in any factoring problem is to factor out the greatest common factor, but here, the only common factor among all three terms is one, and therefore, if this trinomial does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Let's set up the parentheses for the two binomial factors. Step one is to place the factors of ax squared, or in our case, five n squared, into the first positions of the parentheses, or binomial factors. Well, the factors of five n squared are five n and n. Let's place a five n in the first set of parentheses, and an n in the second set of parentheses. Notice how we are placing these in the first positions of the two sets of parentheses, or the two binomial factors. Step two is to place the factors of c, or in our case, positive eight, into the second positions of the parentheses, or binomial factors. And because the middle term is positive 14, we will only use the positive factors of positive eight. Well, the positive factors of positive eight are one and eight, as well as two and four. So now we place these factors into the second positions until we determine that the sum of the inner and outer products is equal to the middle term of positive 14n. Let's try the factors of positive one and positive eight. Because they are positive, we will have a sum in both binomial factors. Let's try placing the positive eight in the first binomial factor, which would give us a plus eight here, and let's place a positive one in the second binomial factor, which would give us a plus one. And now let's check the sum of the inner and outer products. Eight times n is eight n, plus five n times one is five n, but eight n plus five n is equal to 13 n. We want a sum of positive 14 n, which means this is not the correct factorization for the given trinomial. Let's try changing the positions of the eight and the one. Let's place a plus one in the first binomial factor and a plus eight in the second binomial factor. Well notice now the inner product is one times n or n, and the outer product is five n times eight, which is 40 n. N plus 40 n is equal to 41 n. Again, not the middle term, and therefore once again, this is not the correct factorization for the given trinomial factor. So now let's try the factors of positive two and positive four. Let's try placing the two in the first binomial factor, which gives us a plus two here, and a four in the second binomial factor, which would give us plus four. And now let's check the sum of the inner and outer products. Two times n is two n, plus five n times four is 20 n, 2n plus 20n is equal to 22n. Again, not the middle term. This is not the correct factorization. Let's try switching the two and the four. Let's place the plus four in the first binomial factor and the plus two in the second binomial factor. And now let's check the sum of the inner and outer products. Four times n is 4n, plus five n times two is 10n. Well, four n plus 10n is positive 14n which is the middle term, and therefore we now know this is factored correctly. But of course, we could multiply this out just to verify we do get the original expression. And let's go ahead and do that. We have five n plus four times n plus two. Remember, when multiplying two binomials, we have four products. We distribute the five n, and then we distribute the four. 5n times n is 5n squared. 5n times two is 10n, giving us plus 10n. Four times n is 4n, giving us plus 4n. And finally, four times two is eight, giving us plus eight. Combining like terms, 10n plus 4n is 14n, giving us 5n squared plus 14n plus eight, which notice how it is the original expression. So whenever factoring, we can always check our work by multiplying the factors. For the second example, we have seven x squared minus 38 x plus 40. The only common factor among all three terms is one, and therefore, once again, if this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. 
The first step is to place the factors of the first term, seven x squared, into the first positions. The factors of seven x squared are seven x and x. Next, we need to place the factors of c, which is positive 40, into the second positions until the sum of the inner and outer products is a negative 38x. Notice here, because the sum must be negative, we will need to use the negative factors of positive 40. And let's go ahead and list those. Negative one times negative 40, negative two times negative 20, negative four times negative 10, or negative five times negative eight. Because we are using negative factors here, both binomial factors will have subtraction. When placing these factors into the second positions though, it is a good idea to keep in mind what the sum of the two products must be. Because the sum of the two products must be negative 38, notice how if we use the factors of negative four and negative 10, if we place a negative four in the second binomial factor, which would give us a minus four, the outer product is now negative 28x. And then if we use a factor of negative four in the second binomial factor, we must use the factor of negative 10 in the first binomial factor, which gives us a minus 10 here. And now I'll check the sum of the inner and outer products. Notice now the inner product is negative 10x plus the outer product is negative 28x and negative 10x plus negative 28x is negative 38x, which is the middle term, and therefore this is the correct factorization for the given trinomial. So it is helpful to keep in mind what we want the sum of the two products to be when placing the factors into the binomials. And there is one more thing that can be helpful. We would never place the factors of c into the second positions such that the binomials would have a common factor other than one, because if it did, there would have been a common factor in the original trinomial. Now before we go, let's multiply this out to verify we do get the original expression. We have the quantity seven x minus 10 times the quantity x minus four. Again, we have four products. We distribute seven x, and then we distribute negative 10. Seven x times x is seven x squared. 7x times negative four is negative 28x, giving us minus 28x. Negative 10 times x is negative 10x, giving us minus 10x. And finally, negative 10 times negative four is positive 40, giving us plus 40. Combining like terms, we do have 7x squared minus 38x plus 40. Once again, verifying our factors are correct. I hope you found this helpful.